guys know that I love electric vehicles and today we have another electric bike review for you. This is the Engine Pro from Engway. I think it's it's E-N-G-W-E. I have no idea how to say that, but I'm gonna go with Engway. And this is a class three e-bike. It says it has a 750 watt motor that can peak at a thousand watts. And on the website, it says a top speed of 24 miles per hour. But I can tell you, I got this thing put together yesterday and I just went up and down my street and I went faster than 24 miles an hour. So we're gonna test the top speed on this thing today. It has a 48 volt, 16 amp hour battery that they say can take you a hundred kilometers, which is 62 miles that is a that is a long ride now obviously that distance that range it very much depends on how much throttle you're using which we will talk about the throttle on this thing because it's a little weird it takes five to six hours to charge this thing and it is it is one of those uh it's one of the foldable bikes but i will say it's it's kind of tricky to get folded and this thing weighs 83 pounds so even if you were to fold this thing up throwing it in the back of your car um 83 pounds so not light by any means but it also does have a 300 pound load capacity which for you big boys out there uh this might be your bike kind of standard for these fat tire bikes we've got 20 inch by 4 inch tires on there we've got the dual suspension we have an eight gear shimano shifter on there and hydraulic disc brakes which is very impressive also very impressive on this thing is a color lcd screen which which does make turning it on and getting it going uh, really an impressive little setup here. Look how nice that is. Of note though, because the the eight-speed Shimano shifter is on this side and it kind of has that thumb and and finger shifting style, they put the throttle on the left side, which which is for sure pretty weird. Like I said though, I've only taken it kind of up and down the street real quick, so let's go take it for a test drive. Let's see if I can get used to that that left hand thumb throttle and just all around see how this bike rides. Oh, well, right away I can tell you one thing about the LCD screen is that if you are wearing polarized sunglasses, you cannot see it unless you kind of twist your head to the side a little bit. So right now I can see if I twist my head, we are going 22 miles an hour already on throttle alone. Like I said, this thing goes much faster than they said. Oh, I'm in eco mode too. Hold on. Hang on, I'm in eco mode. How do I get out of eco mode? Oh yeah, this bike pulls way harder than that hay bike that I reviewed in the last video. So definitely, there's a price difference between the two, but this thing is for sure faster than the hay bike. Yeah, I'm going, no way. It says I'm going 33 miles an hour right there on that little downhill. Still going 30 miles an hour on a slight uphill right here, 29. I think I need to use an app to check if this speedometer is accurate. Okay, way says 23, this says 26. 24, 26, so I would say it's off by about two miles per hour, which is gonna be good to know when we try a little top speed test here. This is a pretty solid flat. Let's try this again. Engine Pro speedometer versus what Waze tells me I'm going. So Waze is saying I'm going 28, and this is saying I'm going 31. Waze is saying 29. Oh, well, there's 30. All right, so this bike can do 30 miles an hour, although on the screen it says I'm going 33 but their website says that I can only do 24 miles per hour. So I don't know if that's a liability issue or they're not allowed to sell bikes that can do 30 miles an hour, but we just saw 30 miles an hour on the Engine Pro uh, on a very, very slight downhill. So I would say that was mostly flat. Oh my goodness. All right, that's more than 30 right there for sure. Yeah, nice screen saying 34, so we're hitting about 32 miles an hour, maybe 31 on the slight downhill. This, uh, this bike's got some, some giddy up. All right, now is a great time to talk about this dual suspension. The dual suspension, I'm gonna say is, I mean, it's awesome, I really do like it. It's nothing like, you know, dual suspension mountain bike kind of style. That's a pretty bumpy road. And it smooths it out. Like it makes a it makes a bumpy dirt path feel much better. Yeah, I mean this thing can bomb. I'm going like 26 on a dirt path. Oh yeah, on this I can really feel the suspension moving. That's awesome. That feels great. On a slight uphill, this is saying 28.3, so let's give it 26.3. I mean this thing moves a lot on just throttle alone. Again, I'm I'm fully I'm beyond where I can pedal, so helping helping uh, 
get the speed higher by pedaling just doesn't do anything at this point like my <laughs> i'm well well beyond what my pedals could input now it's saying 31 30 so we're i mean we're looking at 20 i would say we're going 28 miles oh something just happened what was that oh i think i got a flat tire oh no I mean, I guess I can't hold this against the bike so much. It was the tire that burst. The bike was really fun for nine miles. And then, and then I popped the tire. We'll get the tire fixed and we'll give it a rip again. Would you mind throwing the girls in the van real quick and coming and picking me up? What happened? The tire blew on this bike. Oh, man. I know, I'm over at the UPS store by the deli. Love you. Bye. Bye. I mean, it wouldn't really be fair to to give a conclusive review of this bike at this point. Uh, so far, I actually like it a lot. It has really good acceleration. It has a lot of power. Like I said, the, the speedometer was off by about two, maybe two and a half miles per hour. So it was saying I was going like 34 when Waze was saying I was going 31, but that's, that's still real impressive for a $1,600 bike that has a 750 watt motor, 16 amp hours battery. That's a, that's a pretty solid deal. I'll finish this review after I get a new tire because it's silly to keep talking about a bike that I can't ride. Ah. There's my rescue. It's a good looking tow truck. Are you my Uber? I do need a ride. It is like the flattest tire I've ever had. Fully all the way flat and the bike weighs 83 pounds, so. I got a flat tire, babe. Did you come to save me? You did? Yeah. And I can be... Can I see your flat tire? Yeah, I'll show it to you when I get in the car. Okay, it finally came a 20 inch by four inch tube for this bike. It took like a week to get here. So I'm gonna throw this back on, finish a test ride on this bike, and then we'll uh, we'll touch on some like final thoughts on the Engine Pro. It's it's a sweet bike so far. Again, I only took it about nine miles before the tube popped. Oh, it's a two pack. That's helpful in case uh, I blow another tube. It's the it's the rear wheel that's blown though. So this is gonna be a little trickier than if it was the front wheel. another 10 miles now so 19 miles total on the engine pro and there's for sure things i like about this bike and things i don't like about this bike things i like about this bike are really simple it's a 1600 e-bike with a 750 watt motor that peaks at a thousand watts and a 16 amp hour battery that is a sweet system i i like the dual suspension works really well Good seat, good tires. Uh, I got a fresh tube on the rear, so that one's good. Really good controls and all around a really good build quality. Like this feels like a very solid bike. Again though, I did say it is 83 pounds, so it's on the hefty side of things. But with that heft, if you compared it to something like the Hay bike, which is the last bike that I reviewed on the channel, at 500 watt motor, the 750 watt motor of this thing, it's, it's just quite a bit more power. Again, we, we saw a top speed of around 31 miles per hour, which, which is very good, but the pull, like the torque off the line, it's a powerful bike. And then for me, the, the only things, the only things that I don't like, I'm not a big fan of the left-handed throttle. It is, it is something you get used to, but it's a little goofy. And then I'm not, I'm not a big fan of how the battery comes out. The battery on this one, it's a little wonky. So to get the battery out of this one, because there is a version of this bike where you can buy it with a spare battery, but you, uh, you unlock this bit, you open this with the key, and then you gotta take the key out, and then you gotta split the bike in half like this. And then you can get this 16 amp hour battery out. You can swap it out for one that you've been charging at home and then uh, slide, slide a new one in. But you can see having to split the bike open and do all this, 
It's a bit of a hassle. Get the bike back together. Yeah. Lock battery back in place. Uh, so yeah, it has a removable battery. It has a swappable battery, but it's it's a little tricky to, to swap it. Again, the, the feel of the bike, the, the build quality, very important, but once you realize that you have a solid bike and you like the bike, it does kind of come down to uh, if your buddy's just flying past you, it's, that's no fun. So a bike that can go, you know, 30-ish miles per hour, uh, pretty fun to ride. Uh, let me know what you guys think though about the the Engine Pro from Angway. What do you guys think about this electric bike and what other electric bikes do you guys want to see on the channel? I am, I am eager to review more electric vehicles. Anything electric vehicle based, uh, send it my way. Let me know what you guys want to see and I'll I'll see if I can get my hands on it. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go out for another ride with this thing. Yeah, because uh, I took it for nine miles the other day and then I let this thing sit for a week while I waited for the tube. I just took it for another 10 miles and it still says it's at 75%. So yeah, I'm gonna go go ride some more. You guys, uh, let me know what you guys think and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Wabba. I'm nine miles from home. It's not totally flat, but it is like very low, you know? I'm gonna try to go slow and see how this works out. I'm try to lean forward. Oh no, I'm not going anywhere. No, we're flat, flat. Crap.